my name is Navigator, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over everything that I got in the Atomic Shop this week. If you're new to the channel, this is a series that I do every Tuesday, going over just the uh, the items, the skins, whatever it may be, that I decided to pick up this week. Uh, this week is going to be a little, uh, you know, small, short, whatever you want to call it. I didn't really spend too much atoms, or sorry, too many atoms, but uh, some of the stuff that I did pick up is actually pretty cool. So, just for a timestamp, today is November 1st, 2022. So if anybody is watching this in the future, this is the week that all of this has come out. Uh, before we get into it, I want to talk briefly just about what they had in the Atomic Shop today. I'm not going to do some DTD shit where I go over everything, but I uh, wanted to just talk about the fact that there's a lot of new and cool stuff in the Atomic Shop today, but uh, I really didn't have too much of an interest in it. Now, don't get me wrong, this new Alien Invader paint is really, really cool. It's totally something that hasn't been done before, and I like that they make you look like an enemy in-game, but I just ne I would never wear it. I literally, I, I just would never wear it. Down here, the Concrete Mausoleum and Tomb Bed, they're very, very cool, but I, I don't need another, like, square, blank, empty interior prefab. Sure, the outside's cool cool, but like, you go out on the inside, it's just it's just an empty square, and I really wouldn't need a, wouldn't need a mausoleum for any of my builds, so if you guys, uh, if you guys like this stuff, go right ahead, I don't blame you for it, but uh, if you're surprised as to why I didn't pick this up, I just really don't care for any of it, so let's get into the stuff that I do care for. The first one I want to talk about today is going to be a free item. Uh, looks like there is somebody in my floor here. What do you know? Uh, this is going to be the modern, or sorry, mid-century curvy lamp. Uh, pretty straightforward is what it looks like, and it actually illuminates the room pretty well. So uh, I think that I'll probably uh, have this out for a while. Looks like uh, Mr. Bloody or whatever there took uh, my candy, and uh, I guess i got to repair my camp too. I'm missing some walls. But let's talk about the other two things that I picked up. Uh, first is going to be, uh, oops, sorry. It's gonna be this skin for the uh, the new for the pickaxe. This is not a new skin by any means, uh, as far as I'm concerned. But this is the modern paint. Now I'm sure you guys know what this looks like without the paint on. It just has the uh, the basic kind of like gunmetal silver with the wood bar. I like this a lot because I do tend to use this weapon when I'm running with my melee build. This is, again just the cursed pickaxe, and uh, it looks really cool. I love uh, the yellow on it and how that metal turns black. I think it's really really sweet. So. Let me just show you here what it looks like. You have that in first person, and then let me go into photo mode here. This is what it would look like, uh, you know, kind of to other players or in third person. So it looks pretty sweet, and uh, I honestly like it a lot because previously the wooden handle and everything that was on there was a little too thin. And uh, this grip down at the bottom makes it a little bit thicker, and I like that a hell of a lot. So the next thing I picked up over here in apparel is going to be the Deathclaw mascot helmet. Now, this was a very interesting item. I had no idea, like, what it was really going to look like, what it was going to be, but I thought that it uh, looked really cool. It reminded me a lot of uh, New Vegas, the Honest Hearts DLC with, uh, what is it, Salt Upon Wounds mask. So I picked it up. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, let me go to photo mode here. I'm going to bump up my brightness, kind of save what it looks like for a second. I want it to be a surprise. And uh, there we go. Holy crap. That is definitely a very unique looking mask, if uh, I do say so myself. It's uh, got a nice shape. It kind of curves out at the front there, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. It looks like it's made from the skull of a Deathclaw and the horns. And they're just, uh, they're, they are just uh, arranged in a very uh, unique way. Uh, it's really, really cool. It's almost like a... Uh, how could I say this? A survivalist uh, free radicals mask, if you will. So if you don't have the free radicals mask and you want something that looks uh, kind of similar, there you go. This is uh, 500 atoms in the atomic shop today. So folks, that's all I have for you today. I didn't really pick up too much. I uh, I spent more of my time focusing on the uh, the event. There, sorry, the event item that came out today, along with the uh, what do you call it? The new uh, survival tent. I have videos out on those. Hopefully those will be posted before this one is, but who knows? And uh, yeah. That's all, again, that's all I have for you guys today. So again, I got the, uh, what was it? The mid-century lamp, the uh, modern paint for the pickaxe, and this wonderful, beautiful new Deathclaw mascot helmet. So folks, uh, for the eighth time now, I believe, uh, that's all I have for you today. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.